Hi guys, I'm filming this quite late at night so this is why I look a bit um, bedraggled. Just come back from a bar mitzvah party where I was raving it up for the 13 hours and now it's nearly bedtime. So I'm trying to get this all fitted in. This week I thought I would tell you about what I did last Wednesday. I was off in London and I went to a lecture about Masada and then I went to an exhibition at the Guardian and Observer offices about the Masada excavation. It was marking 50 years since the original excavation and there was a reunion of past volunteers there. It was something that my dad had been involved with arranging. He had written an article for a magazine in Israel about his time as a volunteer and his experience at Masada and it got sort of picked up by the Guardian and since then it sort of snowballed and he arranged this whole thing. The whole day was actually really fun, a lot more fun than I thought it was. I was going kind of because, you know, my dad had arranged it all and I wanted to see that it had worked, but the lecture we went to was really, really interesting. It was cool to see everything put into perspective. Growing up, Masada has always been there. It's been something that I've always been kind of aware of. And I've never entirely known the context. I knew it a bit because at school in my Latin classes, we did Masada and Dad came in and gave us a talk then. So that gave it some context and this gave the whole context because the lecturer who works at Masada now talked about the past, present and future of Masada and about what sort of things have been found there. So it was a really interesting talk um, to go to. And then we went to the Guardian offices to see this exhibition and they had pictures from the magazine itself and from the event and then little bits about the some of the individual volunteers including my dad. And it was cool to see and it was cool to see all the volunteers as well to sort of see that my dad isn't unique if that makes sense. It was a bunch of very like-minded people to dad it sort of seemed. Some were in very different situations and things but all together you know when a reunion just makes sense and you could see that they were similar types of people. So like I said Masada has always been there, it's part of my history as well. Dad was actually on Masada taking part in an excavation in 1989 when mum called him to tell him that she was pregnant with me and it's it's always been there in the background. So it's always surprising to me when people haven't heard what it is and why it's significant. In case you don't know, I mean Wikipedia it because it's going to tell you more than I can tell you in a properly informed way, but Herod used to have some palaces there and it's also very well known because there was a siege there and a whole load of Jews on the mountain and they allegedly all killed themselves rather than be killed by the Roman soldiers that were surrounding them. So that's why it's, it's there sort of in Jewish consciousness as well and it's now a really famous tourist site in Israel, not that Abby and I have ever been there actually. I think it would be quite nice if the two of us went one year maybe with Dad as well to just see this place that's always been spoken about. Anyway, I thought what I would show you next is a couple of the clips that I took from the event on Wednesday, some of the exhibition and so on, and some of the cooler pictures and stuff like that. I'm really looking forward to see what the rest of you guys come up with this week and I will see you all next week. Have a good week guys. Bye!
belong with you, you belong with me, you're my sweetheart. I belong with you, you belong with me, you're my sweetheart.